So I'm walking into Steve Prefontaine Hall. Over here we've got a van full of shoe boxes. It's reminiscent of the van that they used to sell the early Nikes out of at the track meets. As we walk over here, we've got the Steve Prefontaine display. It is a replica of his high school letterman jacket from Marshfield High School in Coos Bay. Here's his yearbook, some pictures, vintage Nike Americas, amazing Munich Trials shirt, pictures of Pre. Vintage Oregon waffles in University of Oregon colors. Over here's a letter to Steve. Some Olympic gear. And a pair of vintage Nike pre-Montreals made for Steve to wear in the Montreal Olympics. And a letter from Steve Prefontaine. Some early handmade shoes. Oregon gear, a Go Pre shirt, there's Pre with his family. And then over here on the wall is the story of Bill Bowerman and Phil Knight. So Bill Bowerman, the legendary track coach at the University of Oregon, partnered up with one of his runners, Phil Knight, and they started importing and eventually manufacturing their own shoes. There's Bill working with the iconic waffle iron right there. Bill Knight. So after Phil graduated from the University of Oregon, he went to Stanford Business School and wrote a class paper on importing shoes and eventually making shoes that would be better than the shoes that were around at the time. Right here are letters from Bill to Phil and Phil to Bill. A map of Eugene, Oregon. That's where the University of Oregon is. And then over here, an amazing wall. Let's check it out. Born on a handshake. This shoe right here is called The Nike. It's the very first Nike ever. It's actually a soccer shoe. Here's the Greek goddess of victory. Nike is the mythological Greek goddess of victory. Tribute to Jeff Johnson, Nike's first employee. This is amazing right here. This is the original waffle iron that Bill Bowerman used and buried. And he used this to make the early Nike shoes. And right here is the legendary moon shoe, which was the first Nike waffle shoe. They were handmade for athletes at the Olympic trials in 1972 in Eugene, Oregon. Let's check it out. It's just amazing right there. As we check out the waffle sole right there, you'll notice that it's in two pieces and it's also sewn all the way around the perimeter. So it's sewn and glued and in two pieces. The swooshes are held with fish wire. Check that out right there. Laces are in perfect condition right there with the aglets intact. You can see that there's actually a sock liner in here. It's a green Spanko sock liner. And the reason for it is because when you look down here at the outsole, you'll see that stitching that goes around the perimeter. And the insole or the sock liner was necessary to prevent those stitchings from rubbing up against the runner's foot and causing blisters. So right here is the first Nike waffle, the moon shoe. And this is what it says about the moon shoe right there. So shaky, I should have eaten breakfast. We are in Prefontaine Hall, so of course there's got to be a tribute to Steve in here. Steve 
Steve Prefontaine is the soul of Nike. Tragically passed away at just 24 years old in 1975. So there you have it, Steve Prefontaine Hall. Just an amazing building filled with Nike history.